Welcome to Night Fox. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the IR510 handheld thermal imager and we'll be putting it through its paces during the day and during the night. Unfortunately, the weather wasn't kind, but at least gave me an opportunity to see how it performed in poor conditions. So let's look at the list of features this system has. Okay, quite a comprehensive uh, list of features on the IR510 and we will test them all. The clip that's on screen at the moment is the hot tracker and it goes to the bottom of the screen and I couldn't understand why. It turns out there's a pheasant there. The weather did improve, so I took a few more recordings, and you can see that the, the quality of the image is a lot sharper.
Okay, well that's an overview of the IR510 thermal hand imager. Um, I was very, very impressed, so much so I actually bought the product. I will be reviewing the Wicked Hunting Light A51 IR very shortly. And then I'll be doing an overview of the uh, Scythe Mark Wraith 4K Max. And if you'd like to see that content, uh, please subscribe below. I'm just going to leave you with a clip that I took late last night because the weather was very good. And the clarity is, well, it's quite superb, quite frankly. So until we meet again, this is Night Fox signing off. Stay safe.